What's up, RJ family? It's your girl Jazz, and I'm back here with the video. But I just got my hair done, and today I'm gonna show you a couple DIYs on how I do my rolling trays, smoker trays, or just um, vanity tray, makeup tray. So I'm about to go to Dollar Tree and show you everything I need to get. I'll see you on the second, boo boos. So I'm in Dollar Tree. And I'm getting this stuff. So, yeah. I'm about to see, see everything I need. I'm just going to probably do a haul afterwards because I don't even know how to vlog. So, my phone about to die, but look at that glow, sis. Hi. <laughs> So today we are going to make these custom rolling trays and this is going to be a custom cookie tray for Santa Claus. And let me show you what I got from Dollar Tree. Some sponges. Popsicle stick. Some plastic gloves and some so shot glasses for mixing they didn't have like the medicine cap looking things so I had to improvise and I got rain some oh I got me some sponges and rain in the bath some bath paint and some masks. And then I went to Walmart and got some more glitter. So I have red, gold, some silver I already had. Could be needing some Mod Podge. That's the kind I use. And then I get the ashtrays from Family Dollar, they come in a two pack. And then I got these from Walmart. I already had it, but this is what I use for my jars. Little containers. So we got the containers, the ashtray, the rolling tray. And Mod Podge and the glitter. We're gonna be doing a spray paint tray, and then I'm gonna do glitter on the cookie tray. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Wanna protect your? I usually do this outside, but it's cold as hell. So I'm gonna um. Just line my table with the uh, newspapers. I'm about to um go spray paint. I'm about to go spray paint this tray, red and black. It's for it's a this is a rolling tray for a man. So I usually don't use glitter unless it's requested. So I'm gonna go spray paint it red and black and I'm gonna come back to you. So it's in the process of drying. So she she said I could do whatever I wanted to do. I have free creative control. because it needs to completely dry before I cover it with some epoxy. I didn't show sure how to epoxy, hold on. Turns out I'm very disorganized and I don't even have my epoxy, but I'm gonna still show you the first steps and then I'll just pick the video up maybe Tuesday or Wednesday when I get my epoxy. But the rolling tray is already spray painted she gave me free creative control so i picked red and black 
and then I'll be coating it with epoxy. I mean, I guess I could run to the store and get like a a protectant so the paint doesn't come off. But I'm just gonna wait. I like the ovalness of this tray, so I'm gonna use it for the cookies. And I ended up finding two more glitters and a white glitter while I was looking for the epoxy. So let's get to it. Is this view good for you? Is this view good? I don't think it's good. There's more focus on one. I feel like it's not a good enough view for you guys. I just don't feel like it's good enough for you. But, um... very inexpensive and then we're gonna need we're gonna need the brushes from Dollar Tree like we get them from Walmart but they're like a dollar forty seven and why would you do that when you could just use this for a dollar and I think Dollar Tree has a little a few more a few more coming to pack then at Walmart and then the Mod Podge I want to say I got this Mod Podge from Michaels, but it's also at Walmart, wherever you like shop the most at. And then um, my top looks like my top looks like this because I just stick holes in it and I just squirt. I might need to stick a new hole in it. Stick, yeah, I just squirt like that instead of just pouring way too much on it and then you just smooth it out spread it across get it everywhere this is my first time doing um an oval tray like i did a circle tray but it was spray paint but i have never done an oval tray with glitter And you see how the, see how you got them thick lines? You don't want it like that. You want it flat as possible. As flat as possible. I think I'm going to go back and get the circle tray. Because I want to do like a Santa. Like a Santa, like a red glitter background with a black belt. And then I like the little gold buckle. Just something simple and cute. But, I think I'm going to go get that tomorrow. Since I got to wait for the epoxy to get here anyways. Anyways. Where I'm from, epoxy and Joann's and Michael's is not, like, something they're always stocked up on. It's like, once in a blue moon I can get it from Michael's or Joann's and it be in stock when I need it. So, like, I'm not even about to waste my time. Not even gonna waste my time. But I was thinking kind of like a peppermint. But I'm like peppermints aren't oval. So maybe I could just do the Christmas colors. I have something like a Christmas, like a Christmas stain on top. So I just look shaky, shaky over here. Shaky, shaky right here. Shaky, shaky. Well, I could have did the elf, but I don't got no green. This would be cute. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna come do some more trash, you guys. So, some more Christmas stuff. I'm gonna do some ornaments. If you're like, if you like ornaments, put this right there. I don't know how that's about to look. I just messed it up. Did some gold up here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm blocking y'all view and y'all can barely even see. I'm sorry. I'm just going to pour this over here. I'm not going to add no more white because it's going to mix up into this and it won't be white when I 
pour it back. So this kind of free freelance in here. First coat of glitter. That's how it looks with the first coat of glitter. I didn't add more white because you can see here it won't be white anymore. So I'm just going to do the white by itself and then go back and do the other colors. So we're done with the first coat of glitter and Mod Podge. Now we're just going to repeat the process. Squirt it on there. Oops. No, you're really going to squirt it on there. And you're going to leave a little bit more Mod Podge than you did the first time. And then you just spread it. Just go ahead and paint it on there. So the last coat is about to go on. I'm just the edges are pretty thick, so I'm just gonna do the bottom coat with red and red and white. Keep putting all this shit in front of y'all view. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, I'm back, and this is what the the spray paint tray looks like dried. And I'll be coming back in about two days. I just put the glitter. Yeah, I'll be coming back in about two days with the finished product. I think um this is pretty well coated with glitter, but. I should have stopped the layer before because I like the pattern the best. So I might um I might redo it. I might just leave it like this and just go get another tray and redo it because it's not ugly, but it, I'm not satisfied. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So, in the next clip, you'll see me mixing epoxy and pouring it onto these trays. And then I'm going to show you how I epoxy off of Amazon because my Joanne and my Michaels rarely have it. And when I when I had my business selling these trays and doing clothes or whatnot, it was, it was always a hassle. Like, I would have to drive 45 minutes away to go get some, the last pack of epoxy. You have two parts of epoxy you have part a side and then the part b side and they're supposed to be equal equal amount i usually have measuring cups that look like little medicine tops but um i don't so we're about to improvise but if you're just starting off measuring is very important to get the the correct hardness and the uh, um basically the correct hardness so it's supposed to be very, it's supposed to be equal. I usually do um, 15 mm um, each part A and part B. But since I'm so used to doing this, I'm just going to eyeball it. It's not going to be 15 mm, but I'm about to eyeball it to be um, just an equal amount. Now your first your first coat of epoxy for um your spray paint you would need more than your first coat of epoxy for your glitter tray <clears throat> and always do your spray paint before the glitter because you glitter gets everywhere and especially if you're selling these trays you don't want to give a man a glittery tray if he didn't want glitter I'm 
do pour part A and try to get them as even as possible. He possibly really doesn't have a strong smell, but I'm pregnant, so I'm not taking any chances. You want to slowly, slowly stir the epoxy. You want as less bubbles as possible because if you're doing this from home, like you're just testing it out, you're going to end up having to grab your blow dryer if you do not stir it in a very slow motion. It's going to go from cloudy to cloudier to clear. So that really, in the clearness indicates that it's done. If it's cloudy, it's not mixed properly. Keep on stirring. And this can be a very long process when you first, when you first do it. But after you get the hang of it, I done made about 100 trays this year. And it gets faster every time, honestly. I am going to show y'all how to do some freaking ornaments from Dollar Tree. Like, it's going to be Dollar Tree DIYs all Christmas long, baby. It's going to be so much fun. I decided to mix in. And I was mix mixing a little bit faster than I should have. But, it's pretty much done. So after you mix the epoxy, you're going to take your tray. I always go from the middle outwards. So I'll pour in the middle and see how far it spreads. Then I just go around. Just go around. Try to fill it in. putting stuff in y'all way i'm sorry so i just um kind of move the epoxy around see and show you guys i don't even know if you can catch catch it 
catch it moving, see how it's like. There you go. You can see it where it's not at and where it is at. Just trying to fill it all in. I do use my fingers for, for the edges, but I don't like to use my fingers on the actual base of the plate. Sorry, y'all. Everybody named Granny want to call me. And I ain't had no calls all day. But when I want to... When I when I want to start making a video, everybody want to call me. So I just got another call. My dang. Okay, but you see right here where it's this little pocket of um epoxy. That's where I take my finger. Oh, it's already on my finger. So that's where I take my finger, get some, and then I spread it along the edge of it. And just fill it. Get some more from right there. And just bring it on up on the edges. Make sure that bottom part is nice and flat. And then I'm going to bring the excess down to this corner. See, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Bring it down. like some sealant but no baby i like the original coats of epoxy the best because when i use the spray when i use a spray the spray sealant sometimes the paint will still come up and i don't like that i just wanted to get it done like i don't got time to keep redoing the whole tray letting it dry and then trying it again Cause the drying process will make you not want to do these trays uh, so once this is how i like it how i want it if i think it's enough i'm gonna wait till this falls back into the corner so it's not a divot so it's not a divot and um divot in a tray and i'm gonna make some make some more epoxy that I'm not going to record because I just showed you how to mix epoxy. And then I'm going to um, show you how I apply it to a glitter base instead of a flat base. But they want you to let it dry for up to 18 to 24 hours. But the more, the more you mix epoxy, the faster it dries. Believe me if you want to. But from my personal experience, the longer I've done trays, the faster that they dry. Like I used to have to wait almost two days for one coat of epoxy to dry and then they just went to i'll do a try before i go to sleep wake up it's dry boom i don't know if it's the weather so i forgot i told you i was gonna um show you guys how i put the epoxy on a glitter base instead of a flat base but i just poured it in the center like i did the other tray it's basically the same process except that i feel like the glitter is more easy and a little bit more forgiving This will dry overnight as well. Make sure you check the weather before you put your trays outside if that's where you decide to let your trays dry at. Because I didn't have to start over on so many trays because of rainy night. 
and especially like if you have your own business like you don't want to waste that time you just don't want to waste that time at all then you're gonna have to explain to your customers it's gonna be another two to three days before your tray will arrive to you i'm sorry for the inconvenience here's the ten dollar credit to your next order blah 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 so yeah just get it done as soon as as soon as i get an order for these i start it same same hour if i can because drying time is basically 24 hours in itself especially if it's a spray paint tray if it's not a spray paint tray then it's just like within the same hour that you do the do the mod podge and the glitter step you can go ahead and apply the epoxy to um to this tray but when you do a spray paint tray you're gonna have to let the spray paint dry all the way and then you're gonna have to put the epoxy on the tray and then after the epoxy is on the tray you gotta let that dry for 18 to 24 hours and then you apply their design their logo their wording their saying whatever they want on it their picture their dog whatever they ask for and then you put your last coat of epoxy and then that has to dry and nobody wants to wait that long everybody wants amazon prime shipping like they want it fast and you gotta be fast so make sure you do it the right way like you don't want to have to start over over silly mistakes so here it is after it's all epoxy up i'm gonna set it out here to dry again and Back. what's up rj gang i'm here to close out this video and i wanted to show you the finished product of everything that you've been watching so far hubby tray and cookies for santa this is for myself and this is for a customer but i want to come back and show you guys a more detailed video on how i do the glitter background the coating as well as the the svgs that i use for the um for the trays and how I custom make my SGVs. SVGs. Mommy. Yes, baby. You want to get up here? Yes. She's been playing in my makeup while I've been finishing these trays. So if you could tell, she got some red stuff on her face. Looking like my little boy. <laughs> Looking like my little boy. <laughs> wow here don't care but i'm about to it's cute you like yeah. it yeah but that's the ending of this video so don't forget to like comment and subscribe oh it is cute you want to show them